then God is just a dream. What will happen if a, an earthquake or a hurricane strikes us here in Malaysia? This is a really scary thought. I must tell my friends about this dream tomorrow. about them. <laughs> Sorry, Amir. What was the nightmare about? But before you say anything, remember, nightmares are tricks that your mind plays on you. You shouldn't take them seriously. I agree with Polly. But this nightmare was so scary and real, you know. I dreamt that we, we were struck by a natural disaster, an earthquake. I just can't get it out of my mind. What if it really happens? Oh, I'd hate to think that it could. Yeah, Shops. Mm. What if it really does happen to us here in Malaysia? Hi, Ben. Oh, hi. Afternoon, man. Afternoon. Hi, Ben. Hi. Zal, that smile of yours tells me that you have finished doing your homework. That's right. I've done all my homework. In fact, we just came back from the library. That's good. And how about the rest of you? Have you completed your revision for the exam? Yes, I've finished my homework too. I have done my maths and science revision as well. I even read the first few pages of the novel. And I read a whole magazine. After finishing my homework and revision, of course. And Amir has experienced an earthquake. An earthquake? Yeah, it was a nightmare actually. I couldn't get my mind off it. I spent my time in the library thinking about it. Dear Amir, a library is a place for us to read or revise our work. Not a place to daydream. I couldn't help it, but I finished my homework anyway. There's something I would like to ask you, man. Okay, sure. It's about earthquakes. After having that nightmare, I, I was really frightened. But at the same time, I have become curious about that thing. I feel like we're going to be hit by one soon. Okay, Amir, calm down. I know something about earthquakes. I have read a lot about them in books and magazines. Let me share what I know with you. And the rest of you shall join in as well, okay? Okay. However, Amir, I'm not going to tell what your nightmare means. But I will give you scientific facts, okay? Okay, I understand. Go ahead. To start off with a question and answer. Has Malaysia had a major earthquake? No. Although we are not on the volcanic belt, we are still quite close. So it is possible that you may feel the effects of major earthquakes. That is why it is important for us to know as much as we can about them. But why did it happen? What causes them? Well, an earthquake is a sudden shaking of the Earth's surface. This is caused by the movement of large sheets of rock that lie under the surface of the Earth. These sheets are called tectonic plates. These plates slide past each other all the time. Sometimes they push against each other. And sometimes they pull each other apart. This causes the rocks to bend and stretch and then bang, they snap. Where do they usually happen? Well, our neighbor Indonesia is a good example. It has several active volcanoes which erupt and causes earthquakes. Gee, that sounds scary. Uh, ben, can you predict when they'll happen? It's like this. An earthquake is a natural phenomenon, not man-made. So, it's very difficult to know when it is going to happen. But most countries that experience earthquakes have warning systems. Sometimes they know that an earthquake is on the way, 
but are not able to say exactly when it will happen. At least, they will prepare to face an emergency when it occurs. Wow, that's interesting. And you know all these things just by reading. Wow. Well, the world has become borderless and access to information has never been easier. Huh? Please speak in a language that I can understand. He's talking on the internet. Oh, I see. You should have just said internet. I would have understood. Okay, back to our topic. I would like to know how an earthquake is measured. An earthquake is measured using an instrument called seismograph, where the force of the earthquake is measured on a Richter scale. It also can be measured by using a modified Michaelis scale, where the force is measured from 1 to 12 in Roman numerals. The components of seismograph are magnet, coil, pendulum, spring and fulcrum. Anyway, earthquakes have been responsible for many things on Earth. Japan was formed after an earthquake. California has several mountains that were formed after major Earth movements. And the Himalayas were also formed in the north of India as a result of Earth movements. <laughs> so earthquakes do have an upside to them. Well, since we can't stop them, I guess we just have to accept them and share them with them, right? Guess you're right. They have been a mystery for thousands of years and will continue to fascinate us for many more years to come. But slowly, you are learning more and more about them. Maybe someday you will be able to control them. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. We are now at Petroscience KLCC. Do you know that we can experience an earthquake like primers and vibrations here? Why don't we meet someone who can tell about this? Let's go! Um, while I make my way there, take a look on when and where earthquakes brought the earth. Okay, this is a panel exhibit that, that explains how um, earthquake, um, volcanic activities, as well as faults happen. You see, the earth crust is actually divided into what you call as tectonic plates, and they are somewhat like a jigsaw puzzle, okay? They are actually, um, the tectonic plates, when they move, okay, when they move or slide or crushes against one another, they will form or they will result in earthquake happening and a volcano erupting or fault uh, to, to be produced on the Earth's surfaces, okay? And this one here shows you a little bit of what happened when uh, faults happen, okay? This is called a horse when you have a narrow block of Earth's surface rising up on the surface of the Earth. And this one down there 
is called a graben, where you have some sort of a valley forming when the earth uh, surface goes down and some part is above it. What we have here is called a shake table. Now we have three samples here, and this is the building. Uh, this one is houses on sand, and that represents water. Now, uh, earthquake affects these three things differently based on uh, the frequency of the earthquake and also uh, the frequency of the material itself. For example, for building, when we do this, you can see that they are shaking at different frequency. Now, for this building, if you increase the frequency, you can see that it's not really shaking, but a small one is shaking a lot. Now, that shows the frequency of this earthquake matches the frequency of the building, the small building here, and the small building will collapse, okay? Now, if you want to try it on other samples, you can carry this and put it away. And then you can try, let's say you want to put this sample, which is house, a house on sandy areas. And you can see for yourself, you push the start button. And you can observe that actually when an earthquake happens, the house will um, submerge into the sand, okay? And you can also increase the frequency to see how or what will happen later. Okay? Now this is another sample where you use water. Place it on a shake table. And, oops, it's shaking now. Wait for a while. Now you can observe the types of uh, waves that will happen when an earthquake happens. And again, you go on the start button. And you can increase or decrease the frequency. And you'll see a certain pattern emerging in the water. Okay? Whoa. 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 Hey, hey. Hey. That's all for the Expo segment today. I hope you will visit PetroScience and experience for yourself what a natural phenomenon is all about. Let's try this again. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I start to like this. Today we are going to learn about the present perfect tense. The present perfect tense is used to show an action that happened in the past but continues into the present time. The exact time when the action happened is not mentioned in the sentence. We use has and have with the present perfect tense. Let's take a look at how it was used by Ben and his friends. That smart of yours tells me that you have finished doing your homework. You completed your revision for the exam? Listen to how these words used in the program are pronounced. Earthquake. 
earthquake. Earthquake. Phenomena. Phenomena. Vibrations. Vibrations. Seismograph. Seismograph. Victor scale. Victor scale. Remember me mentioning something about the borderless world earlier on? Well, I hope that you are keeping up with the latest trends in technology. You and I live in the ICT era where information is just a click away. So, let's go online and surf the net to find out more about earthquakes. Okay, let's go through the process again. Click on the Internet Explorer. Then, type your keyword into the search engine. Wait for a little while. And now, choose from the many websites that have been found. Okay, let's try this one. www.earthquake.com.my Hey, presto! Here we are. Okay, have fun doing your research. Earthquakes, I'm sure you know a lot about them now. Let's mind map what we know about the natural disaster called earthquakes. Earthquakes cause volcanic eruption, tremors, landslides, shock waves. Places where earthquakes have occurred Indonesia China California Pakistan Japan Well it has happened. A very strong earthquake occurred in the sea of the island of Sumatra in Indonesia on the 26th of December 2004. It measured 9.5 on the Richter scale. Many parts of Malaysia also felt strong tremors. The earthquake caused huge waves called tsunamis. The tsunamis were so powerful that they washed away entire town and submerge many islands. They also killed many people in Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Thailand, India, Malaysia, and even as far away as Africa. So, it looks like no place on Earth is totally safe from earthquakes and its effects. So, read as much as you can, or go online to find out more about other natural disasters and what you can do to protect yourself in case of emergency, okay? Stay tuned and watch out for our next series. Bye!